hello guys welcome to my youtube channel please if this is your first time do well and subscribe without much i do let's get into photoshop so we we'll go to create new we we'll go to create new and we are going to print we we'll are going to select our a3 size and create this we have resolution 30 and create this right there so we are gonna double click right here and unlock this background and we are going to click on the adjustment layer to add a new solid color food and we have black as our color food so we're going to file and go to place embedded and bring in our first item we have so i'm gonna make this a bit bigger yeah like this i think this is okay so you click the check mark to confirm it So I go too far. No. First, I'm gonna select this layer and create a max and click the the brush tool and clean under this curtain we have right here. Just a bit. Okay, I think this is okay. Then we go too far. Place embedded. We are gonna select our next item. So we place it right here. Make it a bit bigger. Click the check mark to confirm it. Make it bigger a bit. Click the check mark to confirm it. So we, we press Ctrl A to align it horizontally in the middle. Go too far. Place embedded. And we're going to select our cup and place it. So we're going to right click and flip vertical. Horizontal. I mean horizontal and click the check mark to confirm so we'll bring this layer beneath and we'll go to far place embedded i'm gonna bring the next item again we click this and we are gonna leave it right here click the check mark yeah we reduce it a bit yeah i think this is okay and we'll go too far. Place embedded, bring in our next item, just like that. So we click, we are gonna right click on this. Change it to vertical, we make it a bit smaller. Click the check mark. Smaller, I think this is okay. Click the check mark to confirm it. Go too far. Place embedded and bring in this popcorn right here. So we'll make this bigger and adjust it over here at this side. I think we have to make it a bit bigger again. Just like this. And then we adjust it. We click the check mark to confirm it. We're going to select this layer to the last one and press G, Ctrl G to group it. So we have it right there and we can reduce it a bit. Click the check mark to confirm it. Press Ctrl A and center it right in the middle. So we go too far. We copy our text we write we have over there. So we select the text tool and we're going to paste that. So we change our color, colorful. To white click ok to confirm it we will change our font size to 24 okay and we're going to bold in this go to paragraph and center and align it center so we're going to put this right in the middle so we go for our next text we'll copy this Select our test tool and we're going to paste it right here. So we are changing this test to the cotton black font. Yeah, right here, cotton black. And we're going to make it all upper keys. 
I'm going to change the size to 30. Zoom in a bit and put it right in the middle. We'll change the colorful to red. Click OK to confirm it. We go for our next item. So we copy this. Press T or just select our test tool. And we're going to paste it right here. We'll change this colorful to white. No, sorry. Click to confirm. And we'll change this colorful to white. The test color. Change the font to 36. I'm going to press Ctrl A and center it right in the middle. Press Ctrl D to deselect. Select January, press Ctrl A and center it right in the middle. We'll raise this up a bit and go for our next test. So we'll copy this. Select our test tool and we're going to paste it right here. Click the check mark to confirm. So we're going to make this test to be one and bring a, and bring a slash between drinks and Photoshop. Click the check mark to confirm it. We are going to reduce this size to 24. And adjust it under the test, the first test. So we reduce it so that it will be in line with it. Like this, okay. Good. We click the check mark to confirm it. So we pick our rectangular tool and draw a rectangle right here. So we we'll change the colorful to red. And reduce it a bit. No, this is too much. Just a bit. Okay. You click the check mark to confirm. So we're going for our next test. So we'll copy all these tests right here. And we're going to paste it. Select our test tool and paste it in Photoshop. Click the check mark to confirm it. So we select showing movies and we want to change the text color to red and the size to 36. So this is very big right here. This is too big. So we go to the size and change it to 18. So it's still big, we're going to set our text to and break the bodyguard and come down here and break this one and backspace so it could join the first one. And we we'll down here and we we'll enter so we could have the rest at the bottom. Press Ctrl it to center it right in the middle. So we'll select the showing of this test right here and increase the the test size to 30 or 36. Select this test right here. Or we have our group one and raise it up a bit so we could have some space at the bottom for the last test. So we we'll select this test right here to the very last one and click on Caesar KNUST 
to decelerate it. So we can as well group, press Ctrl G to group or raise it up. So we're going for our last test. So we're pasting Photoshop. So we click the check mark to confirm. We're going to press Ctrl and then center this test in the middle. Bring, this, bring it down a bit and change the color field of for ticket reservation. Change the test, the color field to red. Click the check mark to confirm it. Okay, I think this is okay. So we go for our next rectangle. We are going to draw a rectangular shape right there. So we're going to reduce the radius to 45. No, we'll increase that again, it's too small. Yeah, I think 85 is okay. So we go below the layers panel and add the stroke. We're going to change it to this red right here. Click the check mark to confirm. It. I think this is too small, so we'll go back and edit this. So we're going to increase the size to 16. Yeah, I think 16 is okay. We are going to apply a shadow effect. Just a, just a little drop shadow. I think this is okay. Yeah. Alright. Something a bit small. Okay. Click the check mark to confirm. And we're going to copy our last test, which is moving night. So we copy and we're going to paste right here. I'm going to enlarge this a bit. Click the check mark to confirm. Oh, this looks very small. Let's enlarge it a bit bigger again. So we'll click the check mark to confirm. And we are going below the layers panel to add a color overlay, a gradient overlay, sorry. So we're going to select the gradient and increase the color right there to dark gray. Yeah, something like this. Click OK. We'll click OK. And we have it right here. So we're going to select the rectangle and the moving eye test and group this. Press Ctrl G to group. We're going to rotate it a bit, just like this. Okay, we click the check mark to confirm it. We are going to create a new layer. Press con press B for our brush tool. We're going to press the right bracket key to increase the size. Change our foreground color to red. Okay, I'm going to put it right here. So we will send this layer to the beneath or bottom. And we're going to change the blend mode to overlay. Alright, I think this is okay. So we'll go to far. Place embedded. And bring in this popcorn right here. This is too big, so we'll reduce it a bit. Put it one, put, put it right here. Yes, okay, this is okay. Click to confirm it. 
and you hold the alt key and drag to duplicate it put another one right here and again hold the alt click to duplicate this and send it up right here i think this is okay then there you go you are done thanks for watching see you in my next tutorial